Hi, I'm Terry Mitchell from the uh, Foster School of Business at the University of Washington, and I'm pleased that I get to present some comments about Tom Lee, who passed away on June 18. And I get to put on paper and say in words uh, what I've been lucky enough to witness for 40 years, a truly exceptional person and scholar. Initially, I need to point out that I was a friend and I was a co-author throughout that time, but my comments here are mostly uh, professional. On August 27, the Foster School is going to sponsor a virtual celebration of his life where people can describe their more personal insights, stories about Tom. So contact me if you're interested in finding out more about that celebration. In general, it's hard to write uh, a career summary letter. There's so many dimensions on what you can say and you can focus. But on Tom, it was pretty straightforward. He was simply exceptional on every dimension. I'll briefly review the breadth and the depth of his contributions and accomplishments. But much of this information is available on his Vita, his research output, his rewards, his recognition, service to the field, and to his institution. But hopefully I can provide a more up-close picture that augments the Vita and the view of students and, and his professional colleagues. Tom's research output was huge. Uh, he had enough for him to be selected as a fellow of the Academy and of SIA, had over 90 uh, peer-reviewed articles, scores of papers, symposia presentations at our best meetings, invited addresses, at outstanding institutions here and abroad, along with numerous book chapters. His work has over 24,000 Google Scholar citations. The list of awards and recognition for his work is over two pages long on his Vita, but includes many of the highest honors in our field, such as Academy of Management Best Papers, the HR Division uh, had the, gave him the Career Achievement Award, and the Academy gave him uh, the Distinguished Service Award. But for me, what's exceptional is the content of this work. Well, he had broad interests in the field of HR and OB. You know, he published papers in goal setting and attributions and decision theory and situational interviews, recruiting, selection, attendance. His work, truly significant impact, I think, in two different areas. First, there was his focus on employee retention. I remember how our discussions early in his career focused on the, the, the sterile and, and basically untheoretical nature of the field. In response, Tom spearheaded work on the development, the theory, and the empirical tests of the unfolding model of turnover. What's really unique about uh, that theory is that it describes multiple ways, psychological paths, if you like, that people take when they leave a job and has moved the field by just away, moved the field away from just looking at things like job satisfaction as the cause of turnover. And he also saw the one of the defining kind of causal uh, aspects of leaving the job as precipitative events. So not just an attitude like job satisfaction as the cause of turnover. He then focused his attention on why people stay in their job. And uh, he was a leader in the research that developed and tested the construct of job embeddedness. People are attached to their jobs by various on-the-job and off-the-job factors. And Tom was a major contributor uh, to the initial development and the subsequent tests of those ideas. And recently, all of this work was integrated into what's called psychological withdrawal theory, and that was published in the Psychological Bulletin a few years ago with Peter Hong and Roger Griffith. It's certainly one of the most prestigious journals in all of social science. Tom also had a significant impact on research methods. In 1999, he published his book on the use of qualitative methods and followed that with updates and reviews for the next 20 years. Certainly one of his major methodological insights for turnover research was to focus on the duration of employee retention, not just the binary outcome of leaving or staying. 
the new statistical models based partly on his publications about survival analysis have looked at different ways in which we can concentrate on the time or the duration of employee retention. Certainly areas like staffing project projections, allocation of training resources, and cycles of turnover uh, are mentioned. His research on trajectories recently with Dong Liu and Jason Lee showed how changes in predictors over time can increase the prediction of leaving. Tom's research skills, his methods orientation are reflected in the breadth of his publications. He did lab studies, he did surveys, interviews, integrative reviews, theory presentations, suggestions for practice. He was consistently creative with new perspectives, theories, and methods to change the field of management. In addition, Tom committed a substantial amount of work time to service that enhanced the profession in multiple ways. He has a long list of service activities on his Vita, but three truly stand out. I sort of I dubbed it the uh, service trifecta. So first, he was on the executive committee of the academy from 2005 to 2009, served as the chair of the annual meeting, and then as president of the academy. While he's clearly part of the team, uh, by the way, which included his wife, Janet, who helped him throughout. Uh, during his tenure, the academy changed the structure of the meeting. They dropped Wednesdays. They changed and re redirected the less than successful AME journal to the AMP. They launched the academy annals, and they approved the academy ethics standards. Second, Tom won awards as an outstanding reviewer and was on the editorial boards of the field's best journals. Significantly, from 1998 to 2004, he was associate editor and then editor of the Academy of Management Journal. Tom worked hard to broaden the range of topics, the methods, types of contributors to the journal. He encouraged other social scientists, so economists and psychologists and sociologists, to submit articles, and he reached out to underrepresented or smaller academy divisions, as well as schools with less well-known business schools. Third, he was associate dean at the Foster School of Business from 2004 to 2016. As an observer of his role as associate dean, a few things stand out. Tom was an advocate for transparency and fairness, procedural and process. He helped to standardize our evaluation and promotion systems, for example, the rating of journals. He organized historical details and was responsible for a systematic integration of our policies, standards, and procedures document. He did an amazing job. He was in this role as the Foster School moved from being rated in the mid-50s to one of the top 20 public business schools in the country. And one of these assignments could have been enough to make him stand out in our profession, but it also could have blown a hole in anyone's research productivity, perhaps the rest of their career. But Tom demonstrated consistent research productivity throughout his tenure in these offices, and because of his service, he pushed the profession in new, important directions. Tom was also a dedicated, successful teacher and mentor. He taught undergraduate, master's, and PhD students, earning consistency high ratings. He was on over 40 PhD committees, and many of his publications are with his current and graduated students, for example, Brooks Holtham and Dong Liu and Marion Everly. In short, his teaching, research, and service have been extraordinary. But I wish to close with some comments about Tom as a person, as a colleague, and as a scholar. All the publications and titles and awards and recognition demonstrate incredible dedication and energy, but they say little about character, and for all his accolades that one can highlight, I want to describe Tom personally. Almost everyone who knew Tom had positive things to say about what a truly good person he was. He was a dependable colleague. He had an enviable amount of energy. He helped students and colleagues to succeed and made sure the recognition went to them. You could trust Tom. Think about all the high-profile positions he was in and the exposure he had and the decisions he made. 
Not everyone agreed with all those decisions, but there were no scandals, no backtalk, no negativity. He was reasonable, he was approachable, considerate, and he listened. He did his share and he did more, going the extra mile. One email I received summed it up well, quote, Tom was a gem of a hum human being and he'll be sorely missed.